may be wondering what I'm doing on Christmas Day in the middle of a cemetery. It just doesn't fit with the day, does it? I understand that. Losing loved ones at a time like this doesn't fit either. And it seems like there's been a lot of that lately. A law enforcement officer I know lost his young wife, mother of his children. Just last week, I helped with the funeral of a 70-year-old mother and helped in a memorial service of a two-year-old child. I sat by a friend as she watched her sister die, and she did that yesterday for the Christmas Eve. I know of a young couple who was expecting their child, and after carrying it 22 weeks, the mother lost the baby. Heartbreaking. You may not even experience the recent loss, but this past year you lost a loved one, and this is your first Christmas without them. And it's just not the same. I know I've heard people, and I've said it myself, I hate that that happened at Christmas. But I wonder if I need to re re change my thinking on it. Because you see, Christmas tells us about Emmanuel, God with us. And if it hadn't been for Christmas, God wouldn't be with us. He wouldn't have come and lived on this earth among us. And, and we wouldn't know the power and grace of his presence, even in the darkest of times. If it wasn't for Christmas, we wouldn't know that Jesus lived here and faced temptation and overcame it. And because he did, we can. If it wasn't for Christmas, Jesus wouldn't have died on the cross for our sins. And we'd have no hope for salvation. If it wasn't for Christmas, Jesus wouldn't have rose victoriously over the grave. And defeated in doing so, dead and hell the grave. So that we can stand at a place like this, at a time like this have hope beyond this world in a place called heaven. If it hadn't been for Christmas, we wouldn't have hope in moments like these at all. The writer in the scriptures understood that. For they wrote concerning the birth of Jesus, they that sat in darkness have seen a great light. And for those who lived in the shadow of death, 